How's it going YouTube? Quinn here. I work in the marketing department here at Rejuvenator. And today we got kind of a special treat. We are going to be cleaning my Yeezy 350 Sesames. These are my favorite Yeezy colorway. I love the taupe color that they have. Uh, works really well with a lot of outfits. Super stoked about them. As you can see, these guys have been through the ringer. I have worn them doing anything and everything pretty much since they came out. Love them, super comfortable shoe, but they have taken a beating. As you can see, the boost here, which is everybody's thorn in their side trying to get that sucker clean. I'm gonna work really hard on that today. I know that's a part that a lot of you wanna see get clean, so we're gonna use our stiff brush today and go to town on it. So, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do here is take out shoelaces, which is pretty easy on the Yeezys. These are nice, big, fat shoelaces. All right, laces are out. We're gonna set those aside for later. Today, we're gonna be using our advanced three brush kit with our sneaker laundry detergent. Uh, with a knit shoe like this, you wanna make sure that you really give it the deepest clean and deodorization possible. So we will always recommend our laundry kits for this. Let's start by putting in the shoe tree. And now we are ready to clean. It's best to start with the uppers and move to the soles. I'm gonna be using our soft brush here, which was really almost specifically designed for knit shoes, just like the Yeezy here. So let's get started. Gonna put in a few squirts of the advanced cleaning solution here. A Little bit goes a long way. Remember that it is concentrated. Whenever I clean knit material, I like to get it really soaked in lots of suds. Just make sure you get a lot of the dirt out of the, the cracks and the deepest parts of the knit. And you can see why we put the shoe tree in there. It provides a really nice hard surface. So when you're scrubbing, it gives you something to back against. That way you don't gotta put your hand in there. I've seen people do that. It's just messy and not super effective. A lot of the times in the Yeezy, this stitching on the top gets really dirty, so I'm gonna give that some extra attention here as I clean it. So after cleaning the suds off the shoe, there are some areas that still have dirt left over. I'm gonna hit them with the soft brush one more time before we move on to the soles. So the uppers look pretty good. I hit that area that had some extra dirt on it. It looks like it came right out. So now we're gonna move on to the midsole and we're gonna use our all-purpose brush here. It's perfect for non-painted midsoles. If it does hit the upper lining, it's not gonna damage it. It's still soft enough. You wouldn't wanna hit the whole upper lining with it, but it won't hurt anything if you do kind of swipe around a little bit. As I'm cleaning this, I noticed that I got, must have hit something blue or stepped on something and rubbed against it. Hopefully that'll come out. I am gonna hit it with our stiff brush just to give it an extra go. <laughs> so as you can see, a lot of the dirt is coming out of the boost in the bottom. I'll hit that in a second, but it is working the way it's supposed to work here. So that's good to see. Yeah, that blue is just not coming out. I don't know what I kicked or stepped in, but it looks like it is there to stay. Everything else is coming out nicely. Let's take a stab at hitting that boost now and see how clean we can get that thing. All right, guys, that's gonna be about as good as I think I can get it. I will scrub a little bit more just to see if I can get some of the excess off there. Uh, that's the deal with this boost though. Once you get it dirty and wear it around a lot, it's hard to get it clean. I put these shoes to the ringer, so hopefully when we stick them in the washing machine, we can knock out some of those stains on the soles and get the boost just a little bit cleaner than it is now. Okay, so now that we've got the uppers clean and the soles as clean as we can get them with the brush, we are gonna move on to the laundry system, but before we do that, let's clean our shoelaces. Now there's a lot of different ways to clean shoelaces. Uh, I found the best way is honestly just to dunk them in the solution and rub them together. 
Sometimes with white laces, they'll get stains and stuff on them that won't come out until you put them in the washing machine. But a lace like this, honestly, will get really clean just by cleaning it with your hands. All right, so that's about as clean as you're gonna get them. I can still see a few stains in them here or there, so they'll definitely need to be washed. Before I put the shoe in the laundry bag, I just stuff the laces in the shoe. I stick them in there good so they don't fly out. The cool part about our laundry bag and really just the whole washing machine and deodorization process is the bag and everything rubs together in the washing machine and it cleans the shoe in a way that nothing else can. All right, looks like we got everything cinched up tight. Now we are gonna go put these in the washing machine. All right. Now we're gonna put the shoe in the washing machine. It's pretty simple. With our sneaker laundry detergent, we do have a chamber. If you unscrew it, if you just squeeze the bottle, it fills the chamber up. For one shoe, I'm only gonna do half of, a, uh, half of an ounce, uh, which should be enough, gets sudsy. If you add too much, you will need to wash your shoe a few times and sometimes the soap can stay in the fabrics. Turn it on. Always wash it on cold. We're gonna do a small load size and that's it. All right, so as you can see, they came out really nice. We let the shoe air dry overnight with the shoe tree in it, just to make sure that the shoe keeps its form. Uh, in some cases it can actually take out creases of shoes. Obviously you don't have to worry about that with the Yeezy. One thing that I always look for is the stitching on the toe box. That's usually the part that just collects a lot of dirt over time and it came out really nice. So that tells me that I did a good job cleaning my shoes. The other thing is the boost. I worked really hard on that. As you can see, that came out really clean too. Little bit of yellowing, which is common on those, but it's a lot better than it was. So one thing that I could not get out is on the midsole here, you can see the blue. That's probably from jeans. For whatever reason, this midsole has a tendency to pick up stains pretty easy. Um, I scrubbed and scrubbed, probably with a few uh, more scrubs and some other washes, I might be able to get it to lighten up. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with it. It's, honestly, it's like having a brand new pair of shoes for me. So I'm gonna finish the other shoe and put them right back on my feet. I use our advanced three brush laundry kit to clean this. I used our soft brush to clean the uppers, the all-purpose brush for the midsoles, and the stiff brush for the soles. A lot of you guys ask about how to clean this boost. Our stiff bristle brush is gonna be one of the only things that's gonna get it clean for you. And then I put it in the washing machine with our sneaker laundry detergent. It gets the, the dirt and just gunk out of the fibers and the fabric. So that's it. I'm Quinn for Marketing. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button down below, and tell me what your th favorite 350 colorway is. Sesame's mine. We'd put these back on my feet shortly. Thanks for watching. Thank you.